All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back after a long hiatus to Rob's running reviews. I just watched one of the more recent reviews that I had done. Good God, my beard was a mess. Good God, the hair was a mess. So hopefully we've gotten both of those things cleaned up. It is 2022. I am bringing you the content that you want, that the people have been demanding. It feels good to be back in your graces and good to be able to talk about some music again. I gotta say, I kind of miss doing this. I've been waiting to do this for a while, but let's uh, let's jump into it. So, the first album I'm going to review is probably a classic for a lot of people: Hooting the Blowfish's debut album, Cracked Rear View. I will admit this: I grew up in the '90s. I really didn't connect with music in the '90s in the slightest. I wasn't into music. My parents weren't really into music. I always felt like a little bit of an outsider growing up when people were talking about what was cool music. And so I actually kind of have an aversion to it. And if you've listened to some of my other reviews, I generally don't connect with it quite as much. But I actually have been listening to a fair amount of Darius Rucker recently, some of his more recent stuff. And I said, you know what? I need to actually go back and listen to some Hootie and the Blowfish see where it started, and see what all the hype was about. Because as you guys know, Hootie and the Blowfish obviously was a huge act, you know, particularly in the 90s. So I started with their debut album, Cracked Rear View, and the headline is, wow. This album scores a solid four out of five, which just to remind people of the scoring system, I score albums across six criteria average them out, equal weighting across the board. A score of four out of five is a really, really good score. This album to me just blew me away top to bottom. It was one hit after another. And for me, it starts off with what is my favorite song on the album, Hannah Jane. And so from there, I was absolutely hooked and said, okay, let's get it going. It's got a great energy to get you in. And from there, it really just doesn't stop. So the group covers a lot of different ground on this album, which was one thing I was actually pretty surprised about. So thinking about the different categories that we usually talk about, lyrics and message, there's obviously a lot of, I'll say, common themes that they talk about around love, around life, but also get into some more interesting themes around racism, around hatred, particularly in Drowning, which I didn't know and didn't appreciate having heard the song before, but it was really cool to see that. Um, and then also getting into just the concept of time and life on the song, aptly named Time. So some interesting things that I think added a little bit of nuance to the album that I definitely didn't have an appreciation for, really thought it was just kind of a pure you know, pop album at the time too. One of the things that was really a standout characteristic of this album was the timelessness of it. This is this was an easy, easy listening in 2022. It felt like it could have been produced just in the last year and would still absolutely be a hit if we were to put it out today. So maybe the part of that is because Post Malone just recently did a cover of one of the songs on the album, so it's just kind of in the mindset a little bit right now. But regardless, really cool to see that and feel like this is an album that's gonna continue to have some real playability 20 years, 30 years in the future. And that I think leads into how much I could get, get into this album. I got into this album way, way more than I thought I was going to. There really weren't any misses on the album, which was awesome. Like I mentioned, starts pretty quick to get you in and this moves quickly from one hit to another hit and I didn't feel like there was any letdown throughout this. If I'm looking for you know, one thing to knock a little bit on the album, I could say, hey, the breadth and range was a little bit more on the limited side in that they kind of stayed within their box and, and played with what they know and played with what they did. That said, they played within that space really effectively, so I don't want to knock them too much for it. So all in all, a four out of five, loved the album, really surprised me and felt good to, to get back into it with that one. So as always, uh, feel free to leave some feedback. Hit me up if there are certain albums that you want to see or hear from me. Thanks, guys.